Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kort and today I'm taking a look at Legends of Dawn. This game was made by Dream Matrix Studios and it is an indie RPG inspired by such titles as Gothic and uh, I'm just gonna guess Dungeon Siege, Ultima, things like that. It's a sandbox type game and your basic task is to stay alive and other than that you can do pretty much whatever you want. You can explore, you can kill, you can do quests, craft stuff, but mainly just look for loot and stay alive. It employs an open skill system, so the only thing you choose at the start is your race, your gender and your starting statistics. Everything else is learned among, along the way. Now the positive things about this game is that there are no loading screens or very minimal loading screens. I've seen them pop up a few times but they're... they last less than a second. We got items in every container pretty much. I'm just level 2 at this point and I've just barely left the first town and my, in my massive inventory is pretty much full already from looting stuff in the town. If you're a looter like myself Make sure to sell regularly, especially your heavy items like weapons and armor that you pick up. Crafting and uh, runes and stuff like that will flood your inventory, but they do not weigh as much as items like weapons and armor. And there is a shit ton to do, such as gathering skills like herbalism, mining, and uh, crafting system. Such as armor crafting, cooking, herbalism, jewel crafting, leather working, metal working, and weaponsmithing. The way crafting works here is you gather up the ingredients and just click craft if you have the necessary skill. And then you have stuff like achievements to hunt for, you got bestiaries to fill out, and lore tabs. And then you have the factions, you got skills to level up and you have a spellcraft system that basically you craft your own spells depending on different effects you've learned I haven't learned any at this point so I cannot give a um, demonstration it's a lot of stuff to do in this game a lot of content but the thing is I think that they have spread a bit too thin a lot of these things aren't fleshed out properly, most notably the combat system, the lock picking system could use a bit of work, and honestly the world that they have created here isn't very interesting to me, they haven't gripped me like other games have, I'm not interested at all in the lore of the place. The combat system is pretty much a devolved form of uh, action RPG, you just spam click and hope the enemy dies before you do. Later on you might unlock skills and stuff to help you out, maybe form combos, but I'm not too sure about that so I won't promise that. And the combat doesn't feel very meaty. There's no kinetic feel behind the blows. You just spam click and hope for the best. And while I'm here fighting spiders, you might notice one of the um, another negative thing about the combat system. It's immobilize. When you get the mobilize, like all it does is pretty much annoy you and waste time. All the enemies stop atta attacking, and you cannot attack. So, especially if you're facing uh, several different spiders or other types of enemies that can immobilize. It's just hey, a matter of here. trying now, to kill as much I just a of your enemies as possible between the webs and I then just the get a break. So it doesn't seem very threatening to be uh, immobilized, especially webbing. Now regarding the movement system here, I'm using the WASD keys, but you can also click around to uh, move your characters where you click. But you cannot hold the mouse button down like in other games, which is a shame. And it also seems a bit unreliable when you're traveling up slopes and stuff like that. 
So I recommend you using the uh, keyboard setting. As a person who likes to take breaks sometimes from gaming and check social media or something like that, the fact that the game has an ha a habit of uh, becoming unresponsive or outright crashing when you alt tab is a big no no for me. So I'd like to see a um, full screen window mode to help out with that. There's also a an issue about popping tra textures. I'll show you a clip here. Which hopefully will be fixed in the future. The game is pretty much fully voice acted as far as I have seen. Which, of course, given the fact that it is an indie title, means that the voice acting is a bit uneven, to say the least. So I'd, I would have liked to see that some NPCs, less important NPCs maybe, would only have text. But that is just a minor gripe. And while on the subject of NPCs, one major thing about the... Um, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna call it the thieving system, because there's no such thing, pretty much. But you can uh, steal items. Well, by that I mean you can just pick up items right in front of NPCs, and they will not react in the slightest. You can even sell those items back to them at no consequence. And also there's the lock picking system, which I will show you right here. The idea is that you want to connect these two glowing runes by filling out the uh, board to connect them. So you'd think that logically you'd only have to fill out the two in between here. But no, there's an arbitrary trail you have to follow that could potentially lead around the entire board and that is a pain in the ass especially because you can only use one rune in one slot so if the, you only have one rune of a certain kind and you need another one you cannot open it and also the runes take up inventory space as you can see here my inventory is quite full of them and I don't even have all of them so, in closing, Legends of Dawn is a very ambitious project, but the lack of direction that the um, that games like this is known for might be a plus for some and a negative for others. You don't get any quest markers or anything like that, you just have to read the text and pay attention. But the lack of polish in some areas lowered the quality of the game in total, and while the Developers have promised to uh, employ frequent patching. They already have patched a bit since the release. So I'd recommend coming back to this after it matures a bit. If uh, bugs and bugs are a problem for you. But otherwise, if you like this kind of game, give it a try. It's over on Steam and I'll put a link down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.